this is you. This is your letter stating that you've just been accepted to dental school. Like most dental students, you have no idea what to expect when you walk through those classroom doors for the very first time. But one thing is for sure, there are certainly a lot of interesting people in your class. You've heard about gunners. Maybe you've even considered yourself one. But this chick is different. She doesn't have time for meaningless social interactions, if she could be studying instead. In class, she's the one who answers um, diabetes. every question. Oh, and she'll stop at nothing to get the best grades. All-nighters? Check. Sabotage? Of course. Murder? Well, I probably wouldn't put it past her. Now, if you hear her crying when she gets her anatomy test back, it's because she only got a 99. And don't believe her when she says that she's just considering specializing. This chick is probably already poring over orthodontia textbooks. Now, the only good thing about her is that you'll never, and I mean never, see her off campus. It doesn't matter that he graduated a few years ago. This dude is still stuck in college. If he actually does show up for class, he's either hungover or asleep. And you better be sure that he will text you asking for notes the night before the big test. He knows the names of every dental hygiene student, yet only about half the names of his actual class. Yeah. He blames his bad grades on Obama, and his loud stories are always epic tales from the undergrad, and typically in the phrase, And I don't remember everything after that. Two, one, go! He's never shown his face at a philanthropy event, yet has never missed a dental party. He just elected himself as the DS1 hazing chairman. <laughs> Day one after getting acceptance into dental school, this guy took charge. He's the one person that everyone will know before school even starts, and it's all thanks to Facebook. By the time they actually find the Facebook group in April, he's already posted your entire summer schedule, a roommate search, a list of OKC apartment complexes ranked by location, safety, and quality, and a cartoon of a tooth doing something funny. Oh, and uh, those emails you're getting right now? Yeah, they're all from him. Now, he's already got the pre-anatomy class barbecue planned out, and he's got you signed up to bring chips. Meeting this dude in person is like meeting a celebrity. You're both terrified and awestruck. That brachial plexus is so frustrating, it's like... How did you get to be so lucky? You have an absolute beauty in your anatomy dissection group. She's smart, pretty, kind, and her teeth sparkle the way that only a future dentist would. Guys, and then Dr. White said he was the smartest person in the building. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs at your stupid joke. <laughs> You're in! Oh, you can picture it now. Walking arm in arm together. Laughing together. Throwing pennies in a pond together. Oh, this moment is so perfect. You never want this to end. This is why you went to dental school. For this moment. This awesome. Oh, you're already imagining the rest of your life with this woman. But that's when you spot the ring. What? Uh, how could she be married? She didn't even give you a chance. So what? She and her husband have been dating since high school. He's probably a loser. What's up, bro? Oh, crap. He's awesome. Dental professors love using the term hand god to describe someone who has the natural ability for dental hand skills. Everyone secretly thinks it's going to be them, but nope, it's this guy. He shows up late to every class and sleeps through them, but somehow he turns in the most glorious pieces of artistry that you've ever seen. You've never seen him working on the project because he's always done in five minutes, and at that point you're still trying to light your Bunsen burner. How's Can I get some help? Yes. I think I'm that? done. This looks terrible. You I worked so hard. Over. You know, I don't know if uh, dentistry's for you. You'll ask him. 
<laughs> All right, you'll beg him for tips on how to better your project. But uh, he'll just toss you some supplies as he walks out the door. He's late for his date with Netflix. Peace out, mortals. Man, I'm running out of teeth. Oh, you need some extra teeth? Oh, there you go. That would be awesome. Thank you. Anytime. Amidst all the weirdos of dental school, you'll find him. The best friend. Maybe he's into the same bizarre combination of things that you're into. Maybe he plays fantasy football and watches Battlestar Galactica. Maybe he shares YouTube videos on your Facebook wall that you actually find funny. Maybe he's into backpack sumo wrestling. No, whatever it is, one thing's for sure. He's going to drink a bunch of coffee with you and pull an all-nighter right before the anatomy final. And from that glorious moment on, you'll be bonded for life.